Hello, hello everyone and welcome to Divine Debut 11. This is Kathy speaking. How are you all? And thank you for joining me here on this Twin Flame Soulmate Karmic Connection reading on a Wednesday done practically every Wednesday. We're using the Cosmic Tarot today. If you're interested in the deck, which I don't use very often, I always like to change my decks to change the energy. All right, so a few announcements. We will not be doing the Yes Please today. It's the end of the month, and as you all know, I'm always flat out at the end of the month because I've got a lot to prepare for Patreon and for the, uh, the free YouTube uh, videos. Um for the month of March okay March is going to be a big month we've got eclipses we've got the spring equinox so there's a lot to be done um, not only of course as we do every month the tarot readings but astrologically speaking the analysis so on and so forth through patreon so I've got my plate full at the t at this moment so I cannot do yes please today but I would really appreciate it if you would uh, comment like share subscribe um, and I don't know if I'll be here live so check the chat if this is premiering and I'm there good sometimes I can make it sometimes I cannot make it um, thank you for being here every Wednesday nevertheless this is one of my most popular readings the twin flame soulmate karmic connection so a lot of you are interested in love um, just to let you know in February we did do a February love readings twin flame readings which you can get through our website or through patreon joining us on patreon it does help support the channel helps us also replace any of the uh, instruments that we use that need to be replaced for instance my computer which I had technical issues with they're getting old, very old, and um, hopefully, you know, I'm just going to keep them as much as I can, but uh, it's sort of saying to me, hello, get ready, new equipment is necessary. And I'm sure you, m most of you know that this equipment is very expensive, so it, it does help. Any support of the channel does help uh, financially and helps the channel to continue to to uh, do all these free readings that we do on YouTube. They are for free. Okay, so don't forget, it's it's my time, it's my energy, it's my investment. Investing not only um, physically, but also emotionally, psychologically. And thank you for your support and your love and your consideration in whichever way you support this channel, even by just liking and commenting and sharing the video that helps as well as well as your donations and your you know even purchasing a personal reading anyway and please consider joining us on patreon we do learn a lot there relative to the astrology and so we've done the individual signs the twin flame soulmate readings through patreon and our website so Let's see what's going on as this is a general reading. Where is the love? Where is the love at this point, at this time? Remember those readings for February could also be considered timeless love readings or whenever you get to view them, then it could be more personal for you. Okay, because you're here and our en you're energetically sort of connecting with the cards, with spirit and with this channel. So let's see what the Karma Dharma is, dear spirit. Thank you for your guidance. Where is this connection right now? As we know, relationships are very important at this time. I'm not going to go into the astrology. This is going to be a quicker reading because I've got a lot to do. So I've been, I did a messenger yesterday, explained the astrology, so I don't want to be repeating myself. Um, just letting you know today it was the... This is all I'm going to say. The Sun, Mercury, Saturn, Kazemi in Pisces. Very, very important triple conjunction. 
All right, I'll be talking about that in the March. I think I've spoken about it in the Patreon um, month ahead astrology for February, but I will focus a little bit more on it um, as it's, you know, new cycles beginning on the March astrology um, analysis that we do on tier three for Patreon. So if you're interested at what this could mean for you, it is important because Mercury and Saturn, they're going to be in the heart of the sun. They get, they get burnt, okay, but they also get energized. So starting new cycles, what are all those blockages for you concerning Saturn and your happiness, the sun? You know, Mercury in Pisces is not, it's not very clear. There's no logic, okay? So let's see if the cards can help us um, determine what's going on in this love relationship at this time, energetically speaking. We've got flow and we've got the wheel of fortune. So endings of cycles, beginning of new cycles, right? Jupiter is larger than life. It's foreigners, distant lands, religion, our beliefs, justice, truth, fate, okay? Fate is playing out. Uh, it speaks to flow where love is concerned. Going with the flow. Uh, Jupiter is connecting well with Saturn through Pisces. And remember, Jupiter rules. Jupiter does rule Pisces. It's the ancient ruling planet. So there is a possibility of crystallizing and manifesting what you dreamed of, what was blocked to you. There is the opportunity for that to happen now. Jupiter is a very optimistic, very affluent and very abundant energy. What's going on in this connection? The person you are thinking of, yes, your person. Where is this relationship at this time, potentially? What does the future show? Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Archangels. Archangel Lofil, Archangel Michael, Archangel Metatron. Where is this relationship? Let's do a Celtic cross and see what's going on. In the now, we've got the three of wands. The challenge is the moon. There are things that are unknown. Obviously, about, about the creation or the manifestation or your ships coming in. The ships are your relationship. There could be physical distance. There are lots of things that are unknown pertaining to your person's personal life, home life, emotional life. The challenge is the moon and the moon is use your, use your intuition. The challenge can also be deception, someone not being totally truthful. And we've just recently had a very challenging full moon in Virgo and we're moving now towards a new moon in Pisces. Now, this is Pisces, Cancer. Could be Scorpio, of course, but maybe the challenge is saying maybe you're needing to wait until that new moon in Pisces. Um, and we're in eclipse energies as well. Do not forget that. Um, and the moon also is a secretive connection. It's in the challenge position. And that's why there could be a lot of deception, a lot of things that are unknown, which Jupiter should reveal right now. There can be revelations right now, a lot of communication, a lot of information coming through as Mercury, even though in Pisces, and there could be confusion, illusion, misconception, deception, and even things that are just unknown, unclear, Jupiter will give us the truth because, um, yes, Mercury, Saturn and the Sun are in good aspect to Jupiter in Taurus. So there could be revelations for some of us now or even heading up to that new moon. Where is this relationship coming from in the past? Ten of Swords. There was betrayal. There was an ending. But this has happened. This has happened. This ending, this painful ending, this... Betrayal, this darkness has happened, has taken place in the distant past. 
But remember, it's a cycle that's closed up. Maybe for some of you, because the Ace of Swords is reckoning. This does turn into the Ace of Swords. And the Ace of Swords is all about truth and perception. Where there's been confusion, deception, illusion. It's like what stands, what this relationship will only stand where there will be truth, even though it can be cutting both pe both people. The truth is what frees us. And I feel that at this time, as Venus, of course, and Mars, they're in a difficult aspect to Uranus in Taurus. They're coming up to that. It can be very cutting, but it can also be very freeing, where someone sort of unloads all all the things that they've been carrying on their own and not sharing them with you because of fear. A fear of coming through as weak could be. Recent past, temperance, patience, healing, divine timing. That's what spirit is talking about. For others of you, again, this is Sagittarius, so waiting on some truths or... Um, being at a physical distance from your person, right? It's all about divine timing. Divine timing, and, you know, this is a Sagittarian uh, Jupiter, Jupiter card. But remember, Jupiter, yes, is, 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 is all about abundance, expansion, and gifts. Um, but it could be, sometimes Jupiter could be over-optimism. Um... And at this time, as I said, Jupiter and Saturn are connecting, which says that possibly we've got the building materials. It's it's like we've got the, maybe the timing is right now because they're in a very good connection. Saturn, Saturn, which is the Lord of Karma and Timing, the Lord of Restrictions. Jupiter is all about expansion and growth. And, you know, they are both moving direct. So everything is running Let's see what's crowning. We've got the Two of Wands. I see a lot of pride. I don't know why in this card. Two of Wands is a decision. It also can speak to a portal, an open portal, where someone's ready to take that leap of faith. They're ready to spread their wings and fly. They've possibly made a decision or they're making a decision now where their desires, the action, and what they what they're working on is concerned, what what energy they give to the uh, exchange of this relationship because relationships are a form of exchange. When there is no exchange, there's a sense of lack. It can only die, right? So I get a back and forth, back and forth because we've got the three and then the two of wands. In the near future, we've got the seven of pentacles, in the position of you or this relationship is the Ten of Wands. My goodness. We've got three tens so far. Seven of Pentacles, of course, is I've invested so much, but I have not received anything back. Or where your person, if there is outside outside influence from others, feels like there could be regret about where someone's been investing themselves in, which relationship. Or someone's going through a challenging seven-year quarter cycle, which is a quarter cycle of Saturn. And it's like a moment of pause, looking to see, should I continue investing here? It's like a turning point for me. Let's look at the position of your person. Ace of Swords, which I was talking about, reckoning, being truthful. This is like a tool, a weapon that they have. They've got the intelligence. They've got the logic. Or do they? I'm not reading reversals. Ace of Swords is logically a victory card. It's like someone clearing out, going through nemesis, clearing their life out. I don't know because of the seven of pentacles that shows here and the position of the relationship is the ten of wands which turns into the ace so the ending of a very heavy burdensome cycle we even see saturn here look at saturn look at saturn's influence 
Saturn could be rewarding, but he could be very uh, much about karma, karma that needs to be worked out before before there can be an opening. Remember that Saturn now is being burnt by the sun, but also the sun brings in clarity where there was darkness. Saturn is darkness. Saturn is a cold planet. The sun warms up that cold energy of Saturn. And also the sun is happiness. It's that inner child. Um, someone's had to be more mature to find their happiness. This is like a new beginning. Right. Let's see what's in the hopes and fears. We've got the Princess of Swords, which is the Page of Swords. Now, it could be what's on their mind, your person. They're thinking of, they're either checking you out through social media. If you're at a distance, you communicate through social media. Or they're thinking, uh, because Gemini is, mm, Gemini has difficulty in making decisions. Um Page of Swords, this is thought of communicating truthfully. But, you know, Gemini is also, it's like a dualistic sign where they talk themselves into sending that message if they have not been communicating and then talk themselves out of that message. Whatever it is, there's a lot to do with thoughts, perception, and possibly also, possibly also anything legal. Swords do speak to... Um, air and you know swords can speak to uh, information possible legalities words what is the possible outcome we've got the sun which was what we were talking about wow and the sun shows a little child here and the child does speak to play it speaks to happiness it speaks to newness now the sun can speak to possible reconciliation it also speaks to clarity and warmth and uh, romance and someone ready to take a risk. The sun rules Leo and Leo does speak to confidence, but also leadership, also gamble. I'm willing to take a gamble. I'm willing to take a risk. I want to see the truth. I want the truth. I want to shine my light. I want to show what it is that I love. This is truly who I am. This is the relationship or this is what I feel for you. I mean, this could be communication about their true emotions concerning you. Um, interesting, we've got the sun and the moon. And when they do come together or they're in opposition, we've got a new moon or a full moon. So a lot to do with the our emotions, right? Full and new moons do speak to emotional ups and downs. Um, what's at the bottom of the deck? We have the Three of Pentacles, but we see calamity here in this deck. Um, we see trouble where there's a third parties, where there's no collaboration. Threes, remember, do speak to building. But here, something's happened here. Something's gone wrong. There's been no coll no collaboration, no trust. All right, we see this person, um, it feels like it's hard. It's hard. On another level, Three of Pentacles can speak to, yes, there is a possibility for some of you. It looks like calamity. It looks like there could be a little bit of danger that one of the three people, if there's a third party, is possibly risking falling out of the, uh, or thinking of falling out of the equation, right? I don't know if you're dealing with someone that, does deal with building as well we've got a fair bit um i'm getting a lot of earth i'm getting a lot of earth even though what do we have and what don't we have we don't have any cups here no water apart from the moon which yes does speak to emotions but we don't actually have cups in the reading we've got the six of wands Six of Wands, someone quite successful in um, this could also speak to a possibility of success where the initial um, beginning stage of building on this relationship is concerned or collaborating. Now, there may also be some ego where working together, this could be more competitive energy between you and your person. I don't know. We've got the Seven of Swords, so there has been stealth and secrecy. 
Seven of Swords could be a theft, it could be the thief, it could be third parties. Eight of Swords, Seven of Swords. We've got quite a bit of air. Gemini comes through more strongly. Let's take some other cards and see what's going on. Let's take the Lenormand here. So we've got very strong Leo, Sagittarius. We've got Cancer, Pisces. We've got the birds, and the birds can speak to nervousness, tension, anxiety, but also excitement, communication through social media, gossip, third parties, news coming in. They are messengers. We've got the ship. And the ship can speak to transition, movement, travel, news and excitement about a transition or someone coming in, traveling, covering over the distance, moving over water. This is a Jupiterian card. We've got two threes, a 12 and a three. 12 equals, of course, a three when we add it. Three is very significant, so it could be the month of March or the third, third of March. I think the 3rd of March is going to be a challenging day. Um, it could be challenging where conversation is concerned. I think it's the day when Venus and Uranus connect um, through a square. It could be surprises, unexpected surprises. It could be quite challenging. It could be quite exhilarating, shocking, and also very freeing. Oh my God, oh my God. This ship is traveling towards the heart. Looks like someone is going to take action towards uh, mending a broken heart. Someone's traveling towards a relationship, um, metaphorically or even physically coming together. The heart does speak to Sun in Leo, right? And this transition, this change, this Jupiterian blessings are talking about a spring opening wow because the heart speaks to spring and spring is just around the corner everyone this could also be because we've got three birds here and the ship is moving away from the three birds the heart only two people can be in a love connection right that's going to be balanced fair and just so this could also speak to because the ship can speak to farewell it can speak to a departure, a new adventure opening up, right? What's at the foundation? We've got the birds, so brand new cycle. This can speak to the stork. The stork is Mercury and Gemini, a lot of communication. Again, transition, a new cycle opening up, change and movement. After a lack of information, um, after maybe some possible lessons learned there's the garden and the garden the garden the garden I see the garden as a happy a happy card of course it could be meeting in a public place could this be a secretive meeting in a public place well not so public I suppose um but also because the garden, the garden, the garden is someone's public affairs and their public life. Someone keeping their public life or keeping their personal life very quiet towards the public. Or even we've got the bouquet here, which again speaks to spring energies and Jupiterian. It could be a cycle. Remember the uh, flow, the 10, which turns into an ace? Let's take more cards because I see love flourishing, love coming through very differently at this time. Right? But being successful, I mean, it's closing up challenging cycles. But sort of going through nemesis and, and reckoning to close up the past. What's going on where the emotional side of things are concerned relative to love? 
at this time, dear spirit. We've got divine timing, which is like the flow card, the Jupiterian wheel of fortune. Admired after a Plutonian ending, it's like the light comes into the darkness. We see what we've left behind, what we needed to leave behind. This is like, you know, the admired card. Yes, this could speak to someone admiring you from afar, wanting to make the changes, make it up to you, I'm going to say as well. You're waiting on the divine timing. Someone needed to go through a purging metamorphosis. We see the butterflies. This is like the ending of that purging or the metamorphosis. And it does speak to, I mean, the butterflies remind me of spring as well. And there's a sense of lightness, just like the ballerina. She can stand on her toes. You know, Swan Lake, there's etiquette, there's there's uh, good manners, there's uh, a sense of beauty, a sense of tranquility in this card. And we've got pride and ego, which brings a lot of happiness and abundance, right? With a pride and ego, there's a lot of luck, there's a lot of, this could speak to a spiritual connection um, taking off. Yes, you may be dealing with someone um, that is quite prideful, that has got a bit of an ego. There's a reason behind that, of course. But remember, the pride and ego is also a spiritual connection. What's at the bo bottom? Patience. Worth waiting for. Your patience pays off at this time. For some of you, this will be happening. This relationship could be going through a realignment, right? The uh, you, the chakras are all balanced. There's a healing process. After winter, we see spring energies. And, of course, this could be taking place as the sun is going to cross over from Pisces around the 20th, 21st, and into Aries, which is spring. Refocus. Refocus. We looked at that. Let's take another... Let's take another deck and take more cards here. Okay, so we've got a little deck of the, um, what is it? I can't even remember the names of my decks. The, the Golden Art Nouveau. Yeah, I think that's what it's called. Why do we have the Three of Wands in the now? What does this mean? And I notice the sun up here again. It's like there's promise that the sun is going to come through. The challenge is to trust your intuition that there will be blessings, that there will be revelations and the light, because we've got the sun and the moon here. It's like a new seed. We've got the queen of swords, the three of pentacles. Yeah, this feels like someone could be falling out of the equation and the eight of pentacles. Someone willing to put in the work to clear the air, to bring in balance where there was... Um, imbalances where there were imbalances right queen of swords libra could be any air sign but the queen of swords is some truths she holds that ace of swords this could possibly speak to someone coming out of us you know going through a separation process or this could be that you're seeing your ships and i notice a little tiny little bird in the distance there this could speak to communication that someone is willing to put in the effort and collaborate, put in the effort where they have not been able to do so before because of whatever reasons that were going on in their personal life. Let's look at that Ten of Swords in the past. We've got the Nine of Wands, Queen of Wands and the Ten of Wands. That's Ten Wands that comes through here. Your, your person may have been or you could have been in another connection with a fire sign where this is coming to an end okay there was distrust there was betrayal now if there was no other person um then there was there wasn't complete trust here and i would say that this relationship was coming through more as sexual and that's probably where someone did not trust that this is a more romantic more important relationship and it's not only a skin deep um, relationship that there's more to it 
then the um, physical side to the relationship let's make some space on my table here oh let's look at that temperance card temperance in the recent past and again the sun is all over this deck which i really have never noticed just seeing more clearly now that there is a lot of sun here in the three of pentacles we've got a lot of clouds and clouds do speak to doubts doubt regarding the collaboration the working together or that there is a third party the sun breaks through the clouds so recent past or even in the now you may be getting a little bit of clarity that you know and this could also be self-doubt where the sun is more confidence this is what is necessary here we've got the page of pentacles this could have been a message that there will be more reciprocity this could also be, have been a message that someone's going through separation divorce they've got children they're needing to pay their dues maybe they're asking you to be patient we did see the patient card there it is one more we've got the king of wands we've got the king and the queen of wands see this could have been another connection now or it's your connection that's becoming more practical more real with the pentacles and it's not only sexual now the king of wands yes could be a fire sign could also be a scorpio for me what's coming up in the two of wands we've got the six of cups this is like an open portal to a soulmate connection an emotional balance both cards speak to balance we've got the king of swords but someone needs to go through reckoning speak their truth remember the sword on the side of your person we've got the king and the queen of swords yes king and queen of fire king and queen of air very explosive very quick energies all planets are direct anyway so there could be some truths yes some you know the sun breaking through the clouds so sort of drying up that nebulousness even though we're in pisces season which is all about confusion and illusion yes this could be leading up to the aries sun in aries is in exaltation so if you're not receiving now and there's still confusion and there's still that nebulousness you know that confusion those doubts whether it's doubts about your person it's doubts that you can manifest this relationship um the airy season then will give you the clarity what i notice in the king of swords here is like he's got butterflies behind him he's got butterflies and what i get here is your person is going to show up they're thinking of communicating with you possibly talking to you about a separation a divorce or or just giving you m many truths they have been watching you through social media um they their heart flutters when they think of you even though they do not show it and they are very nervous and um, they've got a lot of tension internal tension when they speak to you so very anxious but this they try to hide and they hide it well let's take one more on that king of swords we've got the four of wands i do feel someone's going through separation divorce or there'll be talk of moving in together a visit um a get together in a, a home someone's home could be a friend's home this is like 11 and then 11 11 unbelievable the portals are opening and we know that this spring equinox is a portal let's look at the near future and the near is well whenever you're watching this it could be it could be let's say time wise it could be mid um sorry early early march because this reading is done on the 28th of february it could be early march so a week into march eight of swords A 
Eight of Swords. Yep, someone has invested themselves in a relationship um, that they found themselves. It was like a like a self imprisoning, and they've got a lot of regrets. Possibly also staying too long in an unhealthy connection relationship. Now, if some those of you that are not dealing with someone that's going through separation or divorce. It could be just regrets. Maybe you held different beliefs um, relative to your person. And I feel that there are also regrets about time lost here. But you know, the Hierophant is a major arcana. It is Taurus and we are going to have blessings coming through the area of Taurus in your chart. The Hierophant does speak to beliefs, family, obligations, uh, business, someone who holds a position of power within a corporate setting, very heavy responsibilities. But this can also speak to, yes, a spiritual connection that's been blocked, uh, possibly because of finances. And we've got the lovers here. Unbelievable. Taurus, Gemini. For some of you, yes, this could be happening in Taurus Gemini season. We did talk about the Page of Swords, which is Gemini. If you're dealing with someone that has, you know, Gemini Sun or Venus or Mars, they do have trouble in making choice. And many times uh, Venus in Gemini could be people that are hedging their bets that are in two, two relationships at the same time. They cannot decide. But this is, a, you know, this is logically a twin flame connection, surely. That's gone through many, um, that's gone through a few years. For some of you, this could be just seven months, if not seven years. Uh, seven fives, 35. 35 years for some of you. Wow. 42 years for someone else. I don't know. A lifetime. A lifetime. I'm going to say, and they could be months, if not years, okay? So let's see what's going on, possibly with Saturn here, the heaviness coming to an end. Logically, the Lord of Timing and Karma should be rewarding us at this time. We've got Eight of Wands, which is. Cupid's love messages, a flight through travel, uh, through travel through flight, um, lots of love messages coming through, change and movement, and six of wands possible um, success, finding balance, feeling very proud, which we see here. Let's look at your person with that ace of swords. There's the high priestess, and we've got the high priest. This is a spiritual connection, but uh, also there's been third parties. I don't know if you are the high priestess. It could be that your person, you may have been in another connection. Your person was the third party. It will be different for each of you. But this is, of course, Virgo Pisces, which we're in... Uh, you know, moon cycles, Virgo Pisces right now. So what's the reality and what is the dream? It shows the new moon in Pisces here. So 10th of March, from the 3rd to the 10th of March, very important. Early March, generally saying. We've got the Three of Wands here. Seeing those ships. And travel, possible travel, yes. We've got the chariot. It's like they've made up their choice already, I feel here. We've got the two of wands. We've got the three of wands. We've got the four of wands. We've got a lot of wands and there uh, feels like for everyone it's going to be different, obviously. We, we've got where, where fire, the fire energy is concerned. We see like endings of cycles and then the beginning of a new cycle, right? So getting um, the ending of cycles could be in the same relationship, 
but could also be a, a another relationship. So where our desires and our action and our uh, confidence, Mars, right, is concerned, it's about starting a new cycle, right, and getting to the initial stage of success. For others of you, you're not going back to the beginning. It's like you're picking up from where you left off, okay? Relative to your your cycle. Now, cancer comes through for your person. Um, this could be a house move. This could be travel over land and over water through the air. Um, the chariot, again, speaks to choices, right? using the power, the power of, you know, the psyche, um, your person is following their wish fulfillment. Remember the charioteer sits beneath the stars. This could be night travel as well, but also a wish fulfillment. They're, they're moving towards what they forever wished, which was at a physical, timely distance. And they're in secrecy about it. So there could be surprises, surprise, surprise, Venus is going to square over to Uranus. Venus from Aquarius, the star is Aquarius. Aquarius is the wish fulfillment, right? It is a very lucky house. And Uranus in Taurus, it's a Venus ruled house. So even though it can be challenging internally, externally, it promises, it promises change, abundance, freedom, and a wish fulfillment. Let's look at hopes and fears relative to the Page of Swords. Wow, Seven of Swords. We did see the thief before, didn't we? So that's Eight Swords. I feel that it's like your person wants to clear the air. And whether it's your person or you, I feel that there's going to be some truths that will be, uh, that will be talked about. It's like someone's wanting to unload things that they've been keeping from you, which is sort of going to be a, a huge relief, whether it's them doing it purposely or being forced to do that because of the circumstances. Yeah. So a lot to do with communication, a lack thereof for some of you. Uh, a lack of truths. Some For some of you, be careful with your words. Be careful how you communicate. It can be very challenging. A lot of relationships may come to an end because that cycle needs to be closed up. Um, Jupiter is a separation, but it's also coming together, right? If you explain the word in Greek, zephs, zephs means, zevgaroma means coupling. And uh, Zeus is called two, two different names in Greek. And Vias, which means two, coupling up. But um, Vias is also Viazio, which means separation. Remember, Jupiter rules leg legalities and truth. Where there hasn't been truth, there will be legalities. There will be rage. Let's look at the sun. We've got the hanging man in the Pisces season waiting for that sun to be in exaltation. We've got the Ace of Cups. Someone's seen the light and we've got justice. Unbelievable, my friends. Wow. And the information is coming in very quickly, but there can also be challenging conversations. Someone is quickly taking the opportunity of a portal that is opening to be released from karma, to detach from anything unhealthy, from narcissistic relationship of the past. But there's so much desire and also wanting to connect um, physically also. Someone's seen the light, they can see how they can manifest what they've desired because the devil can speak to great desires physical desires uh, but can also speak to fears not fearing anymore taking the opportunity spreading one's wings 
and moving towards the desire, the desire, and we know the Empress here, is very much about attraction and desire, but can also be very frustrating. Someone's seen the light, and I get, remember what I said, that we're going to see the light. Those clouds are going to clear. They're going to clear the confusion, the illusion. Remember the full moon in Virgo, which was a very challenging one. Now we're coming up to a new moon in Pisces. And um, from the full moon in Virgo until the next full moon, the next full moon in Libra is going to be an eclipse. So expect the unexpected expect things to be eclipsed from our lives things that are not to meant, meant to be there anymore um, and anything can happen with eclipses right anything let's take um, some of the little love oracle and we'll take the love uh, handwritten messages for the collective today Of course, this is an opportunity, the Ace of Cups. This is the Holy Grail coming from spirit. Um, and I would say that this is a gift for the sacrifice. It is a gift also, not only from your person. This is an opportunity that they're giving you. It's also spirit. Justice is giving you an opportunity for a new beginning. Now, for some of you that you're in this energy here, because remember, we've got the lovers here. This is a divine union. Doesn't mean that everyone can be with a soulmate or with an with a twin flame um, where there's been deception. Sometimes it's it's you know the timing is just not right. Sometimes um, something's not just not meant to be. This could be self love, and this could be release as well. Some of you could be just wanting to release the past. It could be also that some of you are releasing a narcissistic past chapter or another relationship to make space for a new beginning with a blessed union. These cards here with the Page of Swords, the Seven of Swords and the Three of Swords, that's 11 swords which again is like, to me, it breaks down like to the two of swords. Someone needing to make a decision, but trust they're trusting their, their, their heart. Even though they've been, I feel that if there were lies and deception from your person, maybe they were trying to protect their heart. Or they received their own karma. What they did to you is returning to them, so it's all equal justice has been served. So maybe there was a, a sense of humbling, right? No one's better than anyone else. We deserve what we, what we get is what we deserve. So if you're attracting someone that is narcissistic, you're just overdoing it yourself. You need to, you need to take a step back. Love is reciprocity. It's equal giving and receiving. Doesn't matter if it's 60, 40, it can be 60, 40, it can work like that. But if it's 70, 30, which I say in my personal readings, you really need to think about that. At some point, you will be exhausted. What's going on in love, dear spirit? Please guide us. What's going on with this divine union, this karmic union or this soulmate union? What is going on? We've got the star. We've got the whip and we've got the dog. All right, so the star speaks to uh, wish fulfillment at a physical distance. Of course, the star can speak to um, stardom and someone who's familiar um, in, their, in their environment, in their life. I mean, it can speak to success, right? But the star is also a wish fulfillment that's at a physical distance. It's maybe some of you in the past did feel like a star. You felt like you were admired. You felt like um, there was magic. There was magic for you. I mean, this is, it is the star, but it's also the high priestess 
and the hermit. So the star can also speak to a, uh, someone thinking that they're progressing towards their goals, but it can also be Neptune in Pisces, which could be the illusion. This also speaks to like Neptune in Pisces, which speaks to a spiritual connection, yes. And there's been optimism in the past, okay, thinking that you're progressing towards this relationship. But now, right now, feels like the Divine Masculine has done something wrong and the Divine Feminine has turned her back on the Divine Masculine. And they have regrets. Remember what I said about them having regrets about time lost. This is the Five of Wands. So it could be a little bit of a sort of a push and pull. Remember what I said about competition also, a little bit competitive, unless this is someone going through possible separation and divorce with another partner, which could be your wish fulfillment promised in the future. And then in the future, we've got the dog, which is the fool. The dog is protecting this relationship. The house is the relationship. And yes, the dog speaks to loyalty. I mean, being loyal. Um, someone is very loyal. Uh, you do share friendship as well. Um, maybe loyalty has been broken. Trust has been broken. For some of you, someone feeling as though they've been taken as a fool, possibly. There could also be physical distance. It's a 21. Someone being loyal to, even though in the now, there's um, there are hardships. There are... Uh, five of Wands is like changes, lots of changes where desire is concerned or uh, there's like a, a battle between you and your person, right? You could be having it out, let's say, going through some reckoning if this is you and your person. But in the future, we see the loyalty and the protection that the this relationship is protected by spirit. Remember, the fool knows that he is protected by spirit and we've got flow here. I want to read that. Number 10. The energies around you at this time are positive and are driving you forward. Let yourself flow with these energies and put them to good use. This is an opportune time to attract your heart's desires. Do you want more love, peace or greater understanding is your heart calling out for a new relationship does a current relationship need improvement focus on your desires and allow them to manifest by expecting them to see so you're needing to expect that you will succeed and not doubt it that's what the sun is let's be in the sun energy and not in the cloud energy which speaks to doubt self-doubt confusion illusion and even deception. We need to be as crystal, uh, as clear as day, crystal clear with our person. What is it that we want? What is it that we desire? What is it that we expect? Good communication is one of the most important ingredients. At the same time, release yourself to the flow. And the flow says like, sort of let go, stop pushing. Let go and just go with the flow and see where it takes you. I mean, that ship, that Jupiterian ship will bring you to shore. As long as you believe that you are worthy of this. Events greater than you can ever imagine may be heading your way. Protect your desires. Did I say protect? Project your desires, which says tell your person what you really want but also be open to new possibilities. Good fortune and joyful synchronicities come with the flow card. Open your heart and arms wide and embrace what comes to you. That could be a, a literal embrace that you are going to connect with someone physically. Nothing is static. Life flows in cycles, expanding and contracting, changing and growing. You may be entering a new cycle regarding matters of the heart. Welcome the new cycle. Welcome this new cycle. When a stone is tossed into a pond, the ripples flow with the water as they expand and grow. You're in an exciting period of forward momentum. See, I'm, I'm adding words by myself. It says forward movement, and I'm, I said forward momentum. And expansion, heading into the unknown 
Oh my God. That sounds a lot like your person as well. This forward movement may guide you into new relationships or out of old ones. In either case, know that the change is for your highest good. The energy of expansion will help you grow into your new situation gracefully, safely and comfortably. And this is a 10 and the next card is number 11, speaks to detach. And 11 is that open portal. So something has, is coming to an end, but there's a new beginning. Remember that tens turn into aces. So go with the flow, trust in your intuition. Trust the changes that spirit is bringing in for you. Um, let's take some handwritten love messages. Remember, we are trying to tune into your person, but these may also be messages and thoughts or words that you've communicated to your person. See what resonates for you. Remember, these are general readings. They are not personal. And if you've received one of these messages, then this reading, there's something in this reading for you. I couldn't stay with you because I felt as though I was suffocating. I want to be free. Eight of Swords, which is in uh, Eight of Swords was somewhere. I did see it somewhere. I don't remember where I saw it. Ah, oh, I think it's in the near future position. Yes, it was in the it's in the near future position. Someone getting out because they felt suffocated. And choosing to go with a twin flame, with a divine union. I will climb any mountain. I will swim any river to be with you. Come to me. Wow. I miss you just as much as you miss me. Please forgive me. I want another chance with you. I'm now awakened. Now I see clearly you are the one for me. I want to have a family with you. I need time, time to process, to think. Please be patient with me. What can I do to win you back? The physical distance between us is so great. I need to decide if I can do this. Time will tell. And someone, because you may be at a physical distance from each other, uh, someone really needs to decide and it's not easy. Another two. I feel you when you're happy or sad. I'm the one for you. Please, God, choose me. A love like ours will never pass. Be mine. And we're done. I can't do this anymore. It hurts too much. You're my other half. I feel it. My heart is in your hands. Please don't hurt me. And it was wonderful. We had fun, but I must now move on. Um... I don't think we saw the Eight of Cups in the reading, but please don't go on begging you. Someone is trying to hold on to a relationship where there's there are regrets. Um, someone is begging the other person not to go. Um, but I feel that someone uh, is going to follow their heart right now. And that's what we see here. There is a lot of tension and nervousness. So we go three, three and six. Three, three, and six. That's 12 again, which equals to a three. It's the Empress. So the Empress comes through very strongly indeed. My dear friends, I hope that this helped. Um, for some of you, yes, the Empress does speak to patience, obviously, right? Um, You'll have to listen to this reading again and again. Uh, thank you for your support, your liking, sharing, subscribing. Um, hopefully next week we'll be able to do the yes please. And maybe next week also open up those little mini readings with the Little Love Oracle. For those of you that are hoping for that, some people have already asked me. So maybe we'll do this next 
next Wednesday. So make sure you're around. Make sure you're being notified, right? It really does help all your help and connecting with this channel and also with Divine Debut 12, um, where we do random little um, questions. Uh, we get the answers to questions, your burning questions. So you can also comment beneath this video with your personal questions. I'm going to drop them down and we could do um, readings on those on Divine Debut 12. So make sure I've, I'm going to have the link of Divine Debut 12 beneath this video. Make sure that you connect with us there and subscribe, right? And comment your personal questions, okay? And I think I'll leave it there. My God, I've got to run. My dear friends, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Your love and your support always helps. I do hope that this gave you a little bit of clarity. It looks really amazing and very positive indeed at this point. It really does. Um, I just wanted to remind you now about Olga Vasilchuk. I will have her her links beneath this video. She's doing a special thing on eclipses, okay? The spring eclipses that are just around the corner. She's got a special deal for you if you're interested where she looks at your astrology and then she does some tarot. So check her out. She's a very experienced tarologist and astrologer, okay? And she's a friend of mine, so we do collaborate. Um, if you're interested, check her out. You can get the links beneath this video. And this deal will last, I think, until the 24th of April, um, I think. Anyway, check out uh, the details beneath this video in the, in the more section, okay? All right, love and light, my friends. Talk to you soon. Thank you for joining me. Namaste. Namaste until next time. I'm going to be doing your readings the next few days. Bye for now.